Okay, this is the practice 15.5. What you're going to need to do before you go on to homework. In this case, uh, you need to go get this worksheet out of the file box, 15.5. If you haven't done so, go ahead and do that so we can go ahead and get started. Pause the video until you've done that. Okay, it says to classify each polygon as many ways as you can. This polygon has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So that makes it a hexagon. Um, it also has one line in each side, so that's telling you that all sides are the same length. So this is a regular hexagon. There's no other really description you can say. It, I guess you could also call it a polygon. But that's really not necessary. So right here it says each polygon. And there's number two, another polygon. This one isn't regular because all the sides aren't the same length, just those two are. And the description I can look at it has one pair of parallel sides, which makes it, which mark it is. And that's all you could use for number two to describe it. Number three, there's a couple different names for this one. The first one is all the sides are the same length. So it is a regular rhombus. Make it a little bit smaller. You could also call this. Also be called a par parallelogram because it has two sides, two pairs of parallel sides. But that is all the two that these this could be called: regular rhombus and a parallelogram. Number four is two opposite sides of parallel, two sets of two pairs of parallel sides. All sides are equal. All angles form ninety degrees which makes this one a regular square. All squares are regular. This also has two sides, opposite sides, two pairs of parallel sides, so it can also be called a parallelogram. is also a rectangle. Remember all squares are rectangles but not all, all squares are rectangles but not all rectangles are squares. This is the three things you could have there. Number five it doesn't fit anything. It is a regular polygon. Number six, opposite sides are parallel. Doesn't really fit any of the other descriptions. Parallelogram is the goal. It's not a rhombus, it's not a trapezoid. Oops, sorry, this should not be a regular polygon. This should be a regular quadrilateral. But this has four sides. Oops, that type of. Irregular. That is one through six.
this one you're going to need a calculator for. It'll help you out. That's a look at your notes also to tell you what the sum is of all the angles. In this case, use a calculator. Total of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So 360. Use a calculator here. So 360. Minus 48, minus 132, minus 48. So that means this equals, the question mark equals 132 Add all of those up now and equal 360. Another quadrilateral, it's going to be 360 again, just different numbers. So in this case, I would have 360 minus 90 minus 90 minus 115. If you're asking how to where did I get 90 from? You can see that both this sign is telling you that the, both those are 90 degrees. So here it would be 65 degrees. It's easier for me to type it. You can also use the symbol if you'd like. On number nine, can't be done because it is not a polygon. Why is it not a polygon? Because it's not closed. Um, I know a triangle is 180, 100 plus 50 is 150, so I take 180 minus 150 would give you 30 degrees. Number 11 can't be done. Clone this. It can't be done because it has to have a straight, must be straight line. Another quadrilateral, so we have 360 again. Another 360. Move this over. See, can I do any of this in my head? 110 plus 50 is 170, so I'm going to subtract 170. And then I'm going to subtract 102 to get my answer. This one's 88 degrees. A little bit smaller. Get a little bit more. Get number 13. Again, it's quadrilateral, so it must be 360 degrees. So I'm going to do the calculator again. Clear it off. Start over. So I have 360, 360 minus, looks like 118, minus 90, minus 72. It gives me my answer of 80 degrees. Here I have, it looks like, two angles that are the same, two opposites are the same, so that's 60 and 60, again it's 360. Sixty plus sixty is 120, so we take that by 120. And this one I'm gonna do a little bit differently. So I have left is 240, but it's telling me the two angles are the same. So I'm gonna divide it by two to get my measurement for the same angle. So they're each are going to be each angle to be 120 degrees.
that's 7 through 14. Let's go to the last question. Last two questions. Draw a quadrilateral that has only two sides that are parallel. We're going to draw. And that looks like this. Roughly then. Because we're going to do this one. So you can do any quadrilateral that has only two sides that are parallel. Oh, no. One pair of parallel sides, but only two sides parallel. So it goes like this. Like this, like this. So let's do this side and this side. These two sides here. This one, this side here, and this side here are parallel to each other, and this would be called a trapezoid. So the number sixteen. We look at what pair of angles. So I need to equal three hundred and sixty. So again, I'm going to use the calculator. So one ten plus one ten is two hundred twenty. So it's 360 times the quadrilateral, so it's going to add up 360 minus 220. So these two angles must each add up to 140. So I'll divide that by 2. So it's 70 and 70. So you should take this one home. Any questions, please come and see me. Otherwise, you are done with the practice and you can start your homework.